It's been 11 years since the famous senior advocate of Nigeria and senior advocate of the masses, Gani Fawemi, passed on. He was popular for his struggle for justice. It is the 2020 edition of the Gani Fawemi Annual Lecture, hosted by the Nigerian Bar Association, Ikeja, to dissect the issue of federalism and whether the judiciary is under threat. That the judiciary is not just under threat, but under serious threat. A refusal of lawyers to be used as conduits in a bid to make judgments purchasable is also of paramount importance. With yesterday's Supreme Court ruling unseating Imo State Governor Emeka Inyedioha and installing Hope Uzadima of the APC, law is here. Speak up. Since 1999, the president removes the IG, the governors were of it in the radio. And it will appoint one, go and act. They will retire some. After six months, the president will summon a meeting of the police council. Only Buhari started that. The Supreme Court makes a pronouncement, rightly or wrongly, and we must obey it. So having removed Emeka Ihedioha by judicial fiat of the Supreme Court, that is the end of the matter. A collective emotion here is that of disgust for the presidency's seeming constant disobedience of court orders. Mohammed Fawaimi is Ghani Fawaimi's son. He calls for the immediate sack of the Attorney General of the Federation. The Abuari should sack uh, Abubakar Malami, the SAN, the uh, Attorney General, not CJN. The Attorney General, the guy who knows nothing. The guy who has done everything criminal on the face of this earth that an attorney general should not do. And human rights lawyer Femi Falana briefs the press on Operation Amotekun, which the AGF and Tuesday declared illegal. After that meeting, the Inspector General of Police, the Office of the Inspector General of Police announced that the Nigerian Police Force has ratified or endorsed the Amotekun Security Initiative. When he did that, he was speaking for the federal government. Because by virtue of Section 318 of the Constitution, government in Nigeria is defined to include the federal government, the state government, the local government, and all officials of the government. So the Inspector General of Police was speaking for the federal government. Therefore, in the area of security, the Attorney General cannot overrule the Inspector General of Police. Away from the rhetorics, it is hoped that this year's lecture will send a call to action to the executive and the judiciary to uphold the rule of law. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.